then we want to do dots for his mouth. How to make your own art supplies. These are my homemade paper beads. It's called a poster journal because it folds out. Hi everybody, welcome back. It is week, God, I don't even know. I think it must be like week 13, but I'm only on week nine. <laughs> Still so far behind. It's crazy. Anyway, this is my 52 week um, journal page challenge. And yes, I am still behind, but we are working in our bank book journal thing that we started a couple of weeks ago and the bank brochure and um, we're going to continue on in that and if you remember last week we did a different twist because I couldn't find the bank journal brochure uh, or br bank brochure journal and so what I did was I filmed a video of my challenge on journal workshops so this week we're back now one of my good good friends who I go to church with hi Nancy I know you're watching um, she was talking to me a little bit about being blocked so I told her I would do a little video on how to clear your creative blocks now I learned this technique from Jenna Belly on journal workshops and if you haven't followed her, please do because she's amazing. And she has some really, really good insights on how to break your creative blocks. And you know me, I always end up having to beat the death out of my glue to get it open. So, um, so for anybody who's watching this, if you have blocks in your creativity, the only thing that I can suggest to you is just grab a piece of paper and start creating a background. That is what helps me break my creative blocks every time. And don't be concerned about what you're doing or what you're putting down. Just, just go. Don't worry about it because you can cover it up later. And I promise you, while you are working on this page, an idea will come to you. Now, most of the time when I sit down and I do a journal page, I don't always know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I end up just grabbing a few things out of the box, my little stash of scrap papers and music note paper, and then I grab some stencils, and, you know, I may get up one or two times during the course of creating a journal page and look around my room and see what else I have and see what else I want to throw on there. A lot of times I'll just grab some scrapbook paper and I'll just start ripping it. Just start ripping up some scrapbook paper for collage. You know, collage the whole darn page. You know, grab a stencil, grab some... Um, you know, I keep all kinds of stuff, like I have a drawer here, Let's see if I can open it without wrecking the place. I have a drawer here. Um, this is my mark making tools drawer, and I keep that right here when I'm working on my page. I have a small brayer here. I pull that out every now and then. Um, I have that plastic shelving that you put in your cabinets to keep your dishes from moving. I've got pill bottles, you know, for making circles on the page. Start saving crap around your house. You know, I'm a, I'm really big, since I've been following Jenny, um, I'm really, really big on recycled art and using what you have. You know, you can make art with anything. This is just a piece of styrofoam packaging from when I bought something. Here's another thing. Here's one of those round, I don't even know what you call this. Is it, is it just like a... a a thing to keep your rug from moving I have no idea I bought it at the dollar store you know there's all kinds of stuff that you can do you know keep lids from candles to make circles with I keep this drawer right here handy because when I'm working I want something at the ready that I can reach for and grab so what I do like I said is I start just tearing up some scrapbook paper and just start putting it down 
So that's what we're going to do in this journal page. We're just going to create a really cool background. And then, of course, you know, I'll do something over it.
okay so this is it this is the 52 week journal page challenge for this week and if you guys aren't already subscribed to me please do um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video and you can now follow me on patreon where I have more in-depth tutorials there I'll leave the link down below so please go down below check it out and I'll see you guys soon bye